fun trick right now. I love watching him buy lava. But I think this is one of the worst picks they could have picked into this draft because they, he has extremely low range, will only be reliant, you know, in this case, he's going to be reliant on setting up a lot of combos. He will have a ton of speed with Yumi, right? He's going to go Predator. He's going to maybe get that Dead Man's Plate build going again if he has an early lead. He scales incredibly well, so you can match the Corky's damage. That's what he saw, and he is going to bring it in once again as we do hop onto the Rift here for game number one in that game with the Vagar. Uh, if Showmaker doesn't have the same opportunities, it's going to take him longer to get those stacks as he is in danger. Well, not really. However, <laughs> however, Event Horizon lasts for like four seconds. <laughs> so he's totally fine. Ignite was also used by Kyle. And again, you know, they're trying to put on pressure here and trying to force Showmaker to be in a bad spot, but he looks to be pretty much fine, even after the gank. Yeah, he's going to have a Corrupting Pod charge left here as well. And he just fine. Closer. Actually, hey, that's a lot of damage. One more auto would have done it, but Canyon's in position. And it turns out to be a bait all in the end. But that was really close. I mean, Showmaker was playing with fire. If that auto went off, he was dead. And thankfully, Canyon was right there. And this is going to mean that Lift Sandbox, with this opportunity, with the Vagar going back, they can actually uh, push into the bottom lane and take this dragon. As it does look like Canyon wants to get in here. He's still considering it as Kyle is trying to frontline against level six Xinjiao. Canyon is just chunking him down and doing so, so much work with this Crescent Guard. So Live Sandbox do pick up the Dragon, but they have taken a lot of damage. Slow comes in here. Duck Dom looking for the extra kill. He's got a Uni on his back, and that will be enough. Flash comes in and another kill into the pocket to Dom one Kia already. Rift Herald here only just getting the two plates. Uh, Showmaker looks like he might want to come over there and intervene, decided not to. As Vertol might find himself in a bit of trouble here as a result. Yeah. He does have the needles, but with the subjugate down, does he have enough damage and sustain? That is the question. The answer is no. As the hook comes down, the event horizon this time, not quite going to save Showmaker as he had already flashed and so lifts Sandbox. They did get punished a little bit, but Don Kia's gold lead, as much as it has diminished, they still have a great opportunity to keep pulling out plates here with the Zeri pick that's now heading top. Canyon once more, and he's going to be knocked back by Dove. Nice little dodge there, as Dove will be fine to walk away. Showmaker picking up a nice little plate before we get a little bit too late, as Canyon is still... Okay, Duck Dom's here. Well, that might be the... Uh... <laughs> The end of you, as he'll get the trundle, but not the Jace. But again, denies the back. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's multiple people caught Never this pressed. one. I can't believe you've done this. You ran straight into the Vagar as Kyle is going to die. And that's what happens. He caught two people, but one of them dies. And it's it's kind of funny because now with Everfrost, like he always used to have this ability, but he was never uh, quite this level. He got some buffs, which make his scaling even better. And now he still has that ability. And with Everfrost, people realize, oh. And I mean, this is an inner turret we're looking for here at 20 minutes. So much control of this game is over to Don Juan Kia. Like they can just walk up and take objectives. Now Flash is all available. Uh-oh, they caught the trundle. Down he goes. See ya. <laughs> That's the end of him, as uh, they also have the final chapter available, so that does uh, get used alongside of the exhaust, just to make sure that they can uh, get that one. Fertile is going to be knocked back here in a little bit of trouble. He's going to have to use those needles, as he's actually looking for the kill, but he doesn't throw the last bit of the needles in. Showmaker says, I, I still have my Q, and he'll flash Q and get that kill. And the rest of his team is looking for the cleanup here. Ice still alive, though, as Domlin are having a lot of fun with this one. Diving underneath the turret, looking for the ace, and they will pick it up at 21 minutes. 21 minutes, 11 kills to four. Two inner turrets down off one play. I don't know if you go this far up, though, not necessarily. Yeah, they went pretty far, and Domlin just really don't care about engaging. They press all their buttons, and Canyon got so incredibly low, but he will survive. Crescent Guard now down, but he still doesn't care, as now the Yumi's on the Zeri's back, and you're not getting away from that, as now Domlin Kia will push into the mid lane and potentially look to end this game. Like I said, they have so much Siege, and they have a Runin's Hurricane uh, now on to the Zeri, so Duck Dom is like, I can kill everything that's in my path. But as you can see, they're desperately trying to kill those last uh, cannon minions, but it's not quite working out too well. Nice little engage here, but it's onto the Xin Dao. And that is not the, t uh, the target that you are looking for. 
once again, Showmaker can always throw those down. Moonlight Vigil goes totally wide, trying to force this engage cannon now with no uh, Crescent Guard here trying to survive. In goes the Gwen, immediately dies as Domino are really trying to force the end of this game. And I think they just might do it through brute force on to this Nexus as, okay, uh, Duck Dom really trying to put an end to the game. Showmaker doesn't do damage with auto attacks. No, he so. does. He's, he's getting in there, and <laughs> it's okay, guys. Really, Canyon? Can you please? No! He's not going to end the game. <laughs> the Nexus will survive. The Nexus survives, and now that's a ton of gold given over to an Aphelios here. The Corky didn't pick up very many of those kills somehow, but the package was good. The aggressive all-in from Dom One Kia is thwarted at the end. And you can see they're still looking for the engages here. Uh-oh, Kyle, he's caught in the event horizon last for basically forever, and down he will go. Myrtle not doing very well in this fight on the right side, though, as he will back away from that one. Subjugate down, and Croco now is going to be the one that is caught, but not electing to use his ultimate just yet. Croco relatively tanky with his own force and nature. Yeah, and just have to catch these waves. Showmaker and crew ready to set up Event Horizons to siege <laughs> the Nexus. Okay, attempt number two. Here Let's we go. See. I think this time they're going to go for the kills rather than the Nexus. They're just totally ignoring the Nexus and wiping the floor with Live Sandbox. That'll do it. 30 minutes. GG. Damakia will take game number one. And that was the fun part about the Vagar into this comp. It's like Trundle and Nautilus did zero. I mean, there were a couple of times where they got good engages, but right after that... And okay, they're gonna go for it. So heavy focus on the split pushing here, you would have to imagine with the Rise Camille combo. It's something we have seen in the past, but Camille has dropped off in terms of early on. Gotta be curious to see how they can exert that dominance early on in game number two. And so very strong pick Ooh. is uh oh. Yeah, got into the back line there. Duck Dom having to blow his cleanse. A little bit of a trade as Ice actually ends up taking the most damage out of all of them. Still a lot of potions available and flashes still here. Heal not used. Good that they got that cleanse, I would say, out of Duck Dom. Grabbing that one early can be helpful for follow ups. But unfortunately for Lift Sandbox, they got the Lee Sin this time around. So this is very aggressive. Kellen got stunned in mid-auto. At least he's, he's going to need a little bit more backup than he's got now. He cannot solo this. Yeah, he immediately realizes, I think, he's actually going into this. Azalma Gear are ready to fight. They do have the rotation and Duck Dom nearby, so I think they're having some confidence of that. And the fact that Ice is not here yet. So with Duck Dom available, I mean, he's only level 5, but still Live Sandbox are going to respect that play as... No flash here for Dove. You know, it comes back, not able to get it, but Croco's got a flash, and Kellen will bite the dust. First blood handed into Closer's hand. This is really critical right now because, right. well, you know, uh, a little bit less exciting, but like I said before, it's still much better than last year. So <laughs> I have to half uh, yeah. pull this cup right you gotta now. Gotta take your wins when you get them. Really slam. fantastic slam. He's gonna get both Canyon and Showmaker in the trade. Canyon goes down, and now Bertle in a little bit of trouble. He's waiting for that hook shot. He does get it up once again over to the Realm Warp, and he will be escorted to safety by Showmaker as Duck Dom. Not gonna go for it. Still the cask available. So. Still pretty good trading here because there's no teleport for Dove. Meanwhile. Down here on the bottom side, Croco hoping Duck Tom goes for the aggressive move, and he does. And he did, flashing away. In goes Croco, easy kick into the back, and Canyon just says, nope, no thank you. I'd rather not. Even Kellen has to use his flash in the back of that play as closer. And the first chains here, the exhaust has to be used. Very helpful for not only Zeri, but also LeBlanc. Yep. Dom and Kia closing in here. Look at the flank from Birdall. Watch where he goes. Ice is the biggest target. Realm Warp's in. Now they're thinking about it. Absolutely, they're going to go in for this one. They root him down, but the kick on to Bertle. Do they have the damage for Ice? Yes, they do. And the comp works out. They isolate the Zeri and take him down immediately. But can they clean up the rest of the fight? Closer's still alive here, and they will finally take him down. Even Duck Dom survives. Dom and Kia, you just can't best them in team fights. You really just can't. This team is not going to lose. Only two sources of damage. Oh, the man. kick was good, but... This is a Baron follow-up. 
Yeah, they even got the Baron. Teleports will come in, the Flash, and they might just leave Showmaker to die as he does not have his Flash here, but teleports now. On the top side, dodges the chains, but there is the cask. Infernal says, get away from my friend. I will take you down. Don't touch him. As you can see, they're desperately trying to fight, but they're just so tanky here on the side of Dalmakia after that last fight. And they'll just get a couple of bonus kills and a teleport. Yes. Man. Yeah. Okay, they get the vision now. Kellen able to proc that as the kick goes in and hits four of them. Croco lines it up perfectly. Can they win the fight is the question, though. Closer is so low, and down will go Croco as well. At this point, Dabon Kia just a little bit too strong. Too many threats on their side, and they weren't even able to kill Duck Dom as a triple kill now goes over to the Camille, and that will be the second ace of the game. They tried to use a really fantastic kick to set up for a front-to-back team fight basically around this Zeri. That CC alone isn't enough. You have to delete the AD carry at this stage because his damage is too high. Four items here. Showmaker unkillable on this tanky rise. And they can lock down ice. Damwon Kia. Double win here. Back to back. Second game a little bit longer. <laughs> as uh, some shenanigans. Oh, here. Bertle saved his life. That was cute. So unable to find any of those angles. Bertle had the game of his life. And this is why I'm saying Damwon Kia is on this upper trajectory, because the one weak point was the top side of the map. They've now got a clear choice for who that top player is, and he's looking better and better as each passing game goes by.